neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened? Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just, he just faked me last nerve. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Trap. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live. You don't have anywhere to go? No family that would welcome you? Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broken my... I have found a very interesting letter. Your son planned to prove his worth to the gang by stealing your medicine. Oh, I see. So the little bugger thought he could use his dad to build a reputation. The gang's recruiter was dead when I found him. Perhaps you should take better care of your son. I love my Albert, sir. Believe me. It's just that... Well, I'm an arsehole, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for the letter. This is for your trouble. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. And it's... Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Wet boots will be proud of me. Are you all right? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey! I didn't do any- All right. 
Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Sod off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. I said sod off. Do you know... Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye. Goodbye, y I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. Good evening. <laughs> what is it, Benjamin? The doctors call me a liar. Okay. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. A gun? Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miracle? Actually... Then you have come to the right place. Oh, really? Ah, my brother has spoken of your... Tell me. The region itself is... What do you... Th Most of them are... Is the... Cadogan Bates with... Do you know I don't like to talk of competition. Never met her. Goodbye. The Swanborough Cordial can be the answer to all your problems. As long as you have the money. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Strange man was at the door with a pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk. How is business around here? Bis I see. Sounds like... It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his... As a merchant... Well, you mean besides the effort... Violence is in... Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Where did this happen? In the closed workshops nearby. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like... 
Have you heard of a nurse crane? Is that a bitch real? Yes, she's a nurse. And Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Cranio. That doesn't explain. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical... Goodbye for now. Excuse me, sir. Another journalist? I'm not a journalist. I'm a... A doctor, you say? Really? But still, here... I'm Joe Peterson to some. But Colossus Joe to most. How did you become the local? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. A job? I got enlisted by the wet boot boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Most people don't become thugs when unemployed. I don't care what you think, sir. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means net. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? May I ask what you... I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. According to you, physician... Not familiar with... This part of town does... Totally. Have you heard of... Dorothy Crane? Could you please tell me... She's a nice girl. Tries... Goodbye, Mr. Thanks, you never... Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. What can you tell me about... Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. It's never easy to... We've all had some rough times, ain't we? And no one... Nobody will be... Goodbye for... You? Goodbye. Sir? Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought. Have you any friends? No. But I... Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery. You sent him on some preaching cruise? As a true believer. Do you know... I don't like the liberal... So you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work? Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. Why do you hate Nurse Crane? Before coming to London, she was a member of the cop. What do you mean? All so quite a you. Well, I suppose I. As a doc. What do you mean? The beast. Really? We must fight the disease before. What is left? Cleansing. Tell me, Tobias. What exactly is your plan concerning the clinic? God will recognize his own. Fire is just the instinct. Your lack of fact. You're mad. And date My son. If Joseph, a fool. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's. What do you mean? All so quite a... Well, you... Well, I... As a doctor, you... What do you mean? The beast. I have heard... Excuse me, sorry. Dr. Reed, the fa... Have you any... I've had to run...
that science is... <sighs> I confess. Why then is a war going? It's a disgrace. These are bad times. What is a journalist doing in this bar? He goes where none of his colleagues would... So you risk... Whitechapel is the... That's quite... Not at all, sir. I heard you're investigating and I'm... Not much, I'm afraid. They are... I'm a doctor, Mr. Dunn. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the... Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. I don't know much about the man. He's... He never... Go no. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him. Really? He went to the nearest mailbox, but... He has no relative? No. Except for that strange... Where can I find... He spends most of his time... Goodbye, Mr. Dunn. Goodbye, Miss. Good evening. Goodbye, Miss. Be shy. I'm not looking for what you're selling. All right then, but be quick. Christina, have you been? A... I don't like doctors. Considering your. If it is going to happen, it will. You can put your. And you think that would worry me? <laughs> Clayton Darby claims. I believe Clayton's courage. Why this sca- How can you speak about starvation if you've never- Are you talking- I've seen you- Tell me- Are you joking with me? I have no interest in your- <laughs> I always thought- You know, this money is not only- Do you know- I don't know how- You seem to respect- Dorothea helps the sick people- Goodbye.
This could be the box Lewis thought he lost. <laughs> There's a letter inside. A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Don't be afraid. You again? I think the document's in this box. Really? I found it in an abandoned building near... Let me see. Ah. Uh, letters about... You do not appear... Su surprised about what? Harry's my son, I'm his father. Yes. I Here's a little something for your trouble. Goodbye, Mr. Peter. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like... Sorry, no, sir. My father... Your father... So my father actually worries about me. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, I'm not bot. How do you feel? I'm fine. Mm. My father is an idiot. Forgive my... Why should I? You have a roof? That's exactly what my father says. If life here is so... I... So that's why you stay at home? I'm not afraid of disease. Your father and Mr. Lewis... I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Have you tried... I don't go out often, but yeah. But you are not... Am I not? Remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? Not really. Why are you? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father. How was he? He was nice, I guess. Do you know? Yes, I know her. Goodbye, young man. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? It's locked. I know it's hard to believe, but this this you never... Barrett, you... Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I loved. Did you ever... Try? Never. Do you mean... No one will ever know for sure. What do you know of Harry? Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time... What troubles him? Well, despite being his father's son, almost every... Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Price, good quality. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Cheap price, good quality. You again. Harry doesn't seem happy. I've always put my son's interests above it. You really love your son. He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me. 
Do you have only one? Since the crim- No one will ever- Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it- It's true, I hate this job. You could leave tomorrow. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We- Goodbye. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Sure. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, I'm not... Would it ease tensions with your father if he... I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his... Th Why is that? So Goodbye, young... Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Bye, Mr. Goody. Loretta, your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a com- The Swanborough's cordial A placebo- Medical attempt- Well- See? You have to admit I'm doing some good. Goodbye. Change. Goodbye. Good evening, miss. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at... I know you understand what I'm saying. Melia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about... Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Very well. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter.
I cannot enter. This man stunned me with his faith, his crucifix. This is not good news. Angel Mape. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best in. Really? 
Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott. May I ask? Not at all. But are you not? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in... If you... Thank you, Doc. What are your... Terrible, you say? What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Yes. Most people fail. Are you aware? But this is... If some misfortune... Well, you, for a start, might... I understand. I don't care. Tell me, Miss... The place... Do you not... On the contrary... What can you tell me? Not much. Perhaps you're just... One day, perhaps. And have you... Maybe I... In what way? The struck... If you say... Such fun... Vivid. Oh, yes! The point... Did you know them? No, I didn't. Are you not? That girl has... I feel guilty! May I ask you a few... Qu Extraordinary part of... I'm looking for Dorothy... What can you tell me? Darius Petrescu. Not interested. Darius... It I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Hello again, miss. Tell me about... Very well. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this. <laughs> All right. Don't you see we're on the same side? I'm nothing like you. Yes, you are. I have to admit your words have conviction. If you want... We've not been formally... I am that. Tell me everything. I do not believe in the afterlife. Who is she? She is not from around here. You say she has no... Well, there's that awful poet who constant... Are you not worried for her? She is as brave as she is tough. Are you in love with... Com don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. So Dorothy, like myself and many people in this area, Dorothy, she seems important more than you can. Tell me, I do not. How did you? I'm her oldest friend in England. You mean occupied Romania? Really? Do you have? Who knows? Don't be a. It's quite all. This no. I know you. I know my days are. But Romania escaped the ground. It is not the country I fought for. Goodbye, Mr.
What do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vassily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and Salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull! Hand me that skull! What can I do, Doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy? Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, doctor? I... I can't see. I must... first suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashburn? She's pristine and proper, all right. Dr. Swansea is a sensible. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. Did... So, the end justifies the means. I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fuck. 
You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it go. Yes. All gone. One of them firm! <laughs> 